I miss you guys so much. I'm just gonna be so apologetic throughout this whole video because I am the worst. I just disappear and don't say anything and then I come back and everybody's like, where did you go? And what's happening? And why do you say you're gonna do videos and you don't do them? Today's video, before I get into it, um, we're gonna be talking about my favorite nude glosses. If you've been watching me for any length of time, you know I'm into like browns, milky nudes, those types of situations. I feel like my titty's gonna pop out any second. Okay, I need to get the shirt altered and you know, it's like I haven't cause Corona. <laughs> so I'm gonna be like this the whole time. Like, oh, don't come out. <laughs> so what I did was I split it up. I had lipsticks and I had glosses cause I didn't want it to be a 70 hour video because I also talk a lot. Like we know how much I talk, right? I'm talking a lot right now. <laughs> I think I did this video maybe like two years ago, year and a half ago. And I, I think these are all fairly like newer within the last year that I've been using them. So forgive me if I'm mentioning ones that I already talked about. I tried to mention just newer ones. I did film the lipstick half of this video, God, probably like two months ago. And I actually forgot I filmed it and I never edited it. So. I wanted to put this one up first and then that one will go up second even though I filmed that one first because I just wanted to come back and say hey I miss you guys I had every intention of doing that video and editing it and putting it up and you know it's just like life uh, got in the way so uh, you can go ahead and skip if you want to get to the gloss part of this I'll put a timestamp here of where it starts but I just wanted to, for the people who care, wanted to come on here and just let you guys know what was going on and why um, it disappeared. I guess I'll just give you guys a little life update if you care. You know, if you don't care, it's fine. I, I understand, no hard feelings, but um, I know I have a lot of people who are like, are you okay? Like some of you have been messaging me on Instagram and you're like, what happened? Like what happened to you? And I'm like, girl, I know. I know, okay. Besides the entire world just, you know, crumbling at our feet, um, what mainly had just stopped me from filming a lot was like, first of all, life, because life is hectic and crazy and it's like, you know, it gets busy. I did a really good job of being very consistent for a long time. Um, like in 2019, I was doing so well. I was doing three videos a week, I think. And then we moved into this house in October. I never did a house tour, which I said I was gonna do. And I know a lot of people wanted to see it. I'll have to explain that in another video. I'm not gonna go into detail about it, but I'm not done furnishing the house. And I keep buying things little by little, like I'm decorating slowly. And every time I get something, or finish a room, I'm like, oh, I just wanna finish the house now. Like, I don't know, tell me, if you guys wanna see a house tour, I'll do one now, but the house isn't finished. And I'm doing the downstairs right now. Um, and then I'll start working on the upstairs, but I keep changing things and I'm taking my time decorating and filling up the house. But if you guys wanna see it, I'll do it. If you wanna see like a kitchen tour, if you wanted me to do room by room, I'll do that. It's totally up to you guys. But I just, I know a lot of people were like, show us a house tour and we moved into the house faster than anticipated. Like we, I was gonna do an empty house tour and we actually moved in sooner than we were supposed to. And that's a whole nother story I'm not gonna get into right now. I wanna show you guys like a, the finished product and I'm still decorating. So let me know if you wanna see it, I'll do it. But um, anyways, what happened with like my big long break that I took, I know I did a video with my sister while she was here, but what had happened was my family came to visit. They came in the beginning of March and they actually ended up getting stuck here. They just left, like, they they left like two or three weeks ago. Um, so they were here for four months and it was because of Corona, it got really bad, as you guys know, and they couldn't, my, uh, my mom and my sister live in Abu Dhabi, Middle East, if you don't know where that is. Um, they shut down the country and they couldn't get back in. So I was just really enjoying my time with them. And, um, you know, I'm still working. So I, I have been working this whole time. So it was like, I was going to work all day and then I would come home and just spend time with my family and it was so nice. And I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna stress about YouTube. You know, I usually see my family once a year and I was like, this is time I'm never gonna get back with them. This is never gonna happen again. Like, when is this ever gonna happen? It's not unless they move back, which, you know, who knows if that'll ever happen either. So I, I was just enjoying my time with them and that's what it was. The whole world fell apart and like the Black Lives Matter movement and people like dying for no reason, be literally because of their color of their skin. I didn't wanna come on here because I was feeling so sad and I was like, what is happening in this world? Like, first of all, why is this still a conversation that we're having in 2020 where people are dying because they're different, like skin, well, I don't know. I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense to me. It's like, 
it makes me like sick to my stomach to even think about it and I don't understand why it's even like why, why do we still have to have this discussion? I feel really deeply like I, I feel other people's feelings like I love really hard I feel really hard and like honestly somebody could be telling me like a story about their dog dying and I will fucking sit and cry with them like I feel like I can feel a heartbreak and I was just feeling so much heartbreak in the world and then of course corona and that's it that's why um, I haven't been here I haven't done a beat like this and I no months uh, my makeup routine has gotten so absolutely lazy. It's pitiful. It takes me 10 minutes now to do a full face of makeup because it's like, who's who's looking at me? I want to come out of that rut and it, what's going to help me is doing YouTube because I love doing YouTube. I love talking about makeup and beauty and, you know, sharing uh, my life with you guys and I'm going to continue to do that. And I, I don't know, I was talking to my sister about it the other day and I was like, why did I stop filming videos? Like. I should just continue because I love doing it. It makes me happy. It's just like such a fun creative outlet for me. And I'm sad because I'm not taking clients right now because it's just not safe. So a lot of my um, clients even canceled because everything's canceled right now. So I haven't even been doing clients and I need makeup back in my life. I like to watch people's videos um, when they talk about makeup and like that makes me happy to just get my mind off of things. So hopefully this can just be like a fun place until the world. I mean, hope I'm hoping the world goes back to normal or as normal as possible or somewhat of like a more happy place than what it is right now because this is literally the worst year. I mean, Jesus Christ, what is going on, honestly? Um, so hopefully this is just like a fun place for you guys to come and watch fun stuff and kind of take your mind off of things. Oh, I didn't even mention this. I got Corona. Isn't that crazy? I like, it totally slipped my mind. I'm like, wait a second. Wasn't there another reason why I haven't been filming? Yeah, I actually got it. Isn't that nuts? So I've been in the house self-quarantining myself, which is why I'm out of breath a lot because I'm still like struggling with the side effects. I am negative now. I still have to go get one more test. My job's requiring me to get one more before I can go back to work. So I am gonna go get one more, but I've been like self-quarantining myself. I don't think it hit me as hard as I've heard other people have it. Um, but it did, I mean, it was terrible. I had to get an inhaler prescribed. I've never had like breathing issues in my life. I had to get an inhaler. I mean, it was fucking nuts. What are we living? I feel like I'm in a fucking horror movie, but anyways, let's get into this video. <laughs> the first one I'm gonna share with you guys is this one from Morphe. And this is, I don't know what it's called. It's just, it looks like this is in this packaging and it's in the shade Flower Crown. It's so, so pretty. I have a bit of this in the center of my lip today. What I like about it is that it's real like milky. I love it on top of a nude lipstick or a liquid lip. I love how it's like a bit of peachiness with like little flecks of shimmer in it. It's weird because I don't gravitate towards peach. Peach colors don't look good on my skin tone. I don't like them on me at all. They make my teeth look so yellow and I see it on other people and I'm like, God, that is so gorgeous. But on me, I absolutely hate it. This is a little bit of peach. I like it a lot and it's affordable. I picked this up at Ulta and it was like seven bucks, eight bucks maybe, but it's really pretty. I really like it a lot. It's opaque too, but not like gloppy. It's nice and thin. So I love it as a topper. My next one is from, uh, God, I'm like having uh, like memory issues right now. Shop Miss A. So if you started watching me way back when, I was obsessed with NYX cookie butter. Like it was my favorite gloss ever. I would buy them four at a time. I mean, I still have a ton of backups, but they discontinued it. I am livid with NYX. Why would they do that? I don't know. They're out of their fucking minds. But I remember saying like when I found out, I was so upset and I was like, how could they do this to me? Like I took it really personal. I discovered this when I did a Shop Miss A video. This is by She Makeup. It's called the Glossy Nudes. I believe this is number four and it's a dollar. What I like about this is that it's like a brown and I'm all about the browns. They complement my skin tone a little bit better. I don't like pink. You guys know I don't like pink, right? I think I've said that so many times, but I love browns. I always gravitate towards that shade range um, and I love this. It is like the perfect more brown tone nude. And I, I, ha I, or I mean, I have like eight of these because it's not gonna get discontinued. And I'm not gonna be surprised like that again. So I have so many backups, they're a dollar. I buy them like, I think you can buy four at a time when you order from Shop Miss A. I buy four every time I order from that website. 
I know, I'm sick in the head, but it's like, I found it, I can't be without it. And it, it's like a dollar. Like, how could you, how could you not? But they do have a whole shade collection of these. This one's definitely my favorite. I've actually never even tried any other one, but on the website, I was like, that looks so similar to cookie butter. And it is, and it is the greatest decision and purchase I've ever made in my entire life. My next two are from Fenty, and I have the Gloss Bomb. I know everybody likes these. I mean, I know people die for them. I jumped on this train so late in the game. I never saw the hype. Um, I didn't try Fenty until like a year after it came out, but I bought this mini. It actually came with this little highlighter. I like this highlighter too, it's really pretty, but it was like a holiday set. I got it around Christmas time or something. And I fell in love with this gloss. It's like, it's truly absolutely stunning. It looks so good alone. I mean, it's just the most flattering. It's so pretty. It's like weird because it's kind of like a bronzy pink shade. So, it, I mean, it looks kind of ugly. I, I'm not gonna lie. This is not something I would buy regularly. If I saw this in stores, which is why I didn't buy it. Something like this compared to something like this, it's like, it's just not what I gravitate towards. I gravitate towards this type of color and it was just never appealing to me. And my sister actually got me into it because she's obsessed with it. And she was like, you have to try it. Like, I can't believe you haven't tried it yet. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna buy it. I bought the mini and I was like, I'll get to try the highlighter too. And I love it. It's so pretty. It is truly the most like effortless. It's one of those where if you just want to look pretty and you want something easy and effortless, like you just want to look naturally beautiful, this is it. It's really very special. I've seen it on so many different skin tones and look beautiful on so many different skin tones and it really is. I like it a lot. I wish it didn't take me so long to buy it, but it did. And it's okay. It's like not a big deal, but I'm making it sound like it is. I also like this one. Um, this is called Sweet Mouth and I actually bought this from Sephora during the VIB sale and it came with a full size of the other one. Um, this is just a mini that I'm finishing off, but it was two of them for like almost the price of one, I think. Now it's pink, I really don't gravitate towards this color, but again, it's something about, it makes your lips just so juicy. This I will wear alone. I like this more on top of other things, like a liquid lip or something, just to add a lot of like juiciness to your lips, but it's pretty. I mean, I thought I'd mention it because I wear it. I keep it in my purse, so. I like it a lot. Um, I definitely like the original one more, but I wanted to mention that because I think it's a newer shade. This from NYX is the Filler Instinct. Um, and I picked this up online when I was making an order. Let me go ahead and put it on. It just adds like a bit extra. See how it's just a little bit of like gleam? It's so pretty, it's really shimmery. I like to do something like this when I'm on the go. Like if I'm out running around and I need like a quick and easy, I don't want something with too much color cause it's just like too much, but it's more of like i I've got no makeup on, I have a hat on and sunglasses, but I want something on my lips, I'll put this on cause it looks really pretty. It's very shimmery and very shiny. It reminds me of like a mermaid. Like I feel like a mermaid would wear this. Does it make sense? No, it doesn't but that's what I get from it. Um, anyways, this is called Brunch Drunk. It's really pretty. It does make your lips look very full, which I guess is why it's called Filler Instinct. So I thought I would mention that. I like it a lot. From Maybelline. This is a collab with, I don't know if she's like a YouTuber or an Instagrammer. I know she's some type of influencer. I think it's Summer McKern. This is in the shade Tan Line. I don't know if this is still available because I know it's a collab. I got this a couple months ago. I love these Maybelline glosses, the Vivid uh, Lip Lacquers is what I think they're called. I love Unreal and there's another one that I love. I used to talk about it all the time. Oh my God, they're so good. They're so like, mm, they make your lips look so incredible. And I really like this one, it's really pretty. It's like a baby nude pink. It's so pretty, it's very milky, but surprisingly enough, it's not as opaque as Unreal. If you guys have tried Unreal, it looks like it is, but it's just a very like barely there effortless, pinky, like sheer gloss. It's very pretty looking. It reminds me of like something you would wear in the summertime. You're kind of doing like an effortless face, something very minimal, a light face maybe a little bit of mascara, a little bit of cream shadow on the lid, and this. I don't know, it reminds me of something that like I would wear in maybe like middle school or high school, like a younger girl would wear, where it's just very fresh looking. I like that this is sheer. I don't know, it's different. I like to do it on top of a uh, liquid lip again. 
or like a lipstick just to add just a pretty pinky gloss. It's really nice. My next two I'm gonna talk about are my favorites of all time ever in life. These, oh, they're life-changing. Life-changing, okay? I'm not exaggerating. They're truly life-changing. These are from Wet n Wild, and I've talked about these so incredibly many times. These are the Wet n Wild High Shine Liquid Catsuit Lipstick. I don't know why it's called a lip, it's called a high shine lipstick. It's a gloss, that's what it is. I don't know why it's called a lipstick, it's a gloss. Um, these two are my favorites, it's Send Nudes. And then this one is Caught You Bare Naked. Ooh, Wet n Wild is getting a little thoughty on us, huh? Um, but these are really nice. I have a bit of this on my lips today too, and then I put a little bit of the Morphe in the very center, but this is the gloss that I used on top of my lipstick. This is like one of those concealer types of deals. I don't ever use this all over my whole lip. I use it just in the very center. I have 8,000 lip products on today. I'm gonna do a bit more because I love you guys and that's why. So see I just do it to add just a bit of dimension to the center but it's oh my oh no I broke it. No I broke it. Well fuck. It's broken but it's okay because these two are almost out. I'm surprised I haven't gone through them yet. I went through a period where I actually forgot about them and then I remembered them and I was like, how dare I treat these glosses with such disrespect and forget about them? How, like, I was so disappointed in myself. But these are amazing. I always use them together. Always use them together. They look so good. I do this one first and then I do this one just in the center. I always pair it with a, a liquid lip or a lipstick as usual. But I love these two. It's like, I have to use them hand in hand. I don't know why. I think they're like three bucks. Um, I definitely give them a chance. They have a whole other line, but those two are my favorites. I have two glosses from Dose of Colors, and this one is Can You Not, which is my absolute favorite. I love it so much. Um, again, it's just one of those kind of like milky, hold on. These smell really good, I had to smell. It smells like vanilla cupcake. I keep this in my purse as well because it's one of my favorites. Um, I just love it. It's The formula's nice and thin. I mean, fuck it, let's just add it to the center. It's one of those like milky, pinky situations. I don't know how gloppy my lips look. I'm sure they look disgusting, but I do it because I love you guys, you know? This is definitely my favorite from the line. Be I mean, it's just beautiful. The formula's thin. It's opaque, but it's a thin formula. So it doesn't get like stringy and gross when you talk. It's like, have you ever talked to somebody and their lipstick is so thick or their whatever the situation is, gloss, lipstick, whatever, it's like so thick that you just see it's like cheese. Like a, imagine pulling apart a grilled cheese sandwich and it's like, but with lip, I'm like, ugh, huh? This is opaque, but it's a really thin formula. Love it. And then Honey, I'm Home. And this is the same deal. It's just more of a, like a peachy brownish color, whereas this is more pink. So here, I'll put them, wait, this way. Put them side by side so you can see. Um, Honey, I'm home, and then Can You Not. So I go back and forth between the two. I do like Can You Not more. I usually go for that one, but I love Honey, I'm home when I'm going a little more brownie. I did forget uh, one of my favorite ones at work. I leave it on my desk because I use it every single day. It's the ColourPop, I'll insert a picture here. I think it's called Juicy Gloss in Beechwood. <sighs> Bitch. It is like, the shiniest like it's so shiny you can literally see your reflection that is a major exaggeration but that's how shiny i need you guys to grasp how shiny this gloss is it's satisfying and i wear it every single day like i wear it so much that i just leave it on my desk at work i love it with my whole heart i'm almost done with it i wish i had it so i could show you guys but it's like a tube like a squeeze tube and i'm like I have like this much left of it. It's crazy. Okay, and then lastly, this from Artist Couture. This is, uh, I don't know what it's called. It's its the gloss. I don't know if they have other glosses. I believe this is the only gloss that the brand has and it's in the shade Uncensored 2.0. I bought this back when it first came out and I bought it because everybody on YouTube was talking about it. I think I saw Desi Perkins talk about it and she used it in one of her videos and I was like, ooh, that looks really pretty but you know, it's a high-end brand. I think this is like 20 bucks. So I was like, oh, do I really want to spend $20 on like another nude gloss deal? But I really, really like it. It's so beautiful. I love the doe foot. It's like a flexible, like a bendy. It's really flexible. Um, but I like that. I didn't think I would like it because I thought it would be too flimsy, but I don't... 
it's not. I mean, I really like it. It's so pretty. I mean, fuck it. Let's just put it on with everything else. But I love how the applicator is so precise. Do you see how thin the tip is? It kind of reminds me of the Dose of Colors where it's a very thin formula, but it's opaque. It's very flattering. I get to the point where I try so many different lip products, and I'm also a lip product junkie, so I'm always trying anything new that I see. I get to the point sometimes where I'm like, it looks so similar to what I have, or am I gonna spend $20 on another color that looks like this when I have 20 other ones? You know what I mean? But I don't know, I just, I wanted to try it. There was something about it that was gravitating towards me. I think what happened is I went to Sephora and I swatched it and I was like, okay, that looks really pretty, I like it. So I went ahead and bought it and I love it. I'm almost out of it. I have so many different lip products that it takes a lot for me to actually get through a whole one. So when I get through it or I almost get through it, I'm like, you know how much I love it. And I do really love this a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And I am going to try to get into my regular routine and I'm going to try to stop leaving you guys hanging because I suck at life and I want to stop doing that. You don't deserve that. And I don't deserve you guys. I really don't. You're the best. Let me know what other types of videos you want to see. I'm going to try to stick to at least two videos a week. I'm going to do an Amazon home decor haul for you guys soon that'll probably go up i'm hoping to have that up by next week i just have so many ideas i just have to like film them <laughs> so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed go ahead and subscribe before you go hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos and i'll see you in my next one bye